tell me what you think about first thought that comes to your mind when I say these names. Uh, Scott Cross. Thankful, man. Thankful. Um, you know, he was a, a coach uh, that believed in me, probably the first coach to really believe in me. Um, and the guy that I, I, I built a gene relationship with when I was coaching AAU. Obviously, man, he was hired when he was 21. A lot of coaches in his business promise a lot of things, but he told me at a young age when he got a head job, he was going to hire me. Um, and he and he came through, man. I'll never forget it, man. I, I was at Howard uh, that spring of my senior year. Um, I didn't accept the job until the end of the summer because uh, I was actually deciding of going UTA or being a grad assistant here at Texas Tech because Chris Beard had, you know, been instrumental in me getting a, in a GA job here with Coach Bobby Knight. Uh, but, yeah, no, I was very, very thankful for Scott Cross, uh, one of the best recruiters in the country I've ever, I've ever encountered. Uh, Coach Danny Casper. Whew, another guy that's been very instrumental uh, in my development, especially as a coach. You know, I got with them. Um, I literally had no feel for really, you know, reading X and O's or drawing up X and O's. You know, I got a chance to deliver my very first scouting report with him um, and grew uh, in that role. You know, he consistently gave me, you know, schools to, to scout. And I felt like over the three years, I, I continued to get better uh, there. But you know, in terms of running my first drills as a college coach, um, you know, scouting and, you know, learning X's and O's and, you know, starting that process of really thinking as a coach, you know, it started, he gave me my foundation. And obviously, man, I was blessed to see how to run a program and we won at a, at a high level and, you know, it was, it was blessed to be a part of recruiting some very good players there, Stephen. All right, we got a minute and a half, so I need you to run these off. Larry Brown. Elite um, made me, you know, he made me the, he, he began the process of really making me a future head coach that I'm going to be in. We built SMU from the dead, a legend, a godfather. Coach Dickey. Uh, Mr. Mr. Everything, man. I mean, uh, you know, taught me how to deal with the media. Um, great coach, obviously, you know, the Eddie Sutton disciple. Um, just the most genuine person I've ever been around. Who's that? Bill Kenny, we got one minute. Man, helped me with my faith, uh, made me a better coach, better husband, uh, better future father, better mentor for sure. Uh, underrated coach, been a coach of the year in five different leagues. Coach Beard. Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer. He'll be the second coach to ever win an NBA championship and an NCAA championship. You heard it here first.